Sold. Okay. Uh, merchant wise, um, I can't even. We even have a. Unable to send merchant because the trade node's not discovered. Do I even have trade nodes I can reach? We can reach here. I guess we might as well. I mean, it's not like we make any money from trades, so whatever. Collect, I guess. It appears that our heir is immortal! Shocking. Alright, um... I think I'll run... Mm, I'll run an advisor. I want, like, a prestige advisor, though. Prestige advisor seems like it'd be pretty good right now. Let's take reinforced speed. And, uh, I mean, we need to, we need to, like, go find people, right? So why don't we just go here... Check out my army maintenance. Adventure traditions. Dwaravar claimer minus 90%. Sick. Okay. So we can field up to 23 troops. So manpower recovery is kind of a big deal. We should just train more regulars. With 90% land maintenance. We want to get as many of these bodies out as we can. Just turn money into troops on the board. Right? Wait. 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 That doesn't make sense. I have negative 150% native uprising. So how? Why? I don't understand. This is not how it works in vanilla. There should be no chance for, un for uprising. Check the government tab for the colonists. That was assimilation. No, I'm on negative native negative one hundred percent native uprising. I understand how the mechanic works in vanilla, like. If you have negative 100... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Ah, you're right. Okay. So we still have a 50% chance, even with negative 100. Which is why we have the Rebellion. Well, I misunderstood where we were at. We lost some manpower. It's fine. A few good dwarves have died. But wait, we gained prestige for battles, so fighting them is fine. Alright, it's fine. Change racial military. Switch to Orcish military. Alright. Well, we're not going to do that. We're dwarves. What's my current racial tolerance? Purge Warband. We defeated one of the warbands infesting our lands. It's time for them to feel our wrath. Okay. Well, let's get our morale back up. And, uh... We do need a Conquistador if we want to bust that. Maybe I do just... Map the Dwaravar. As soon as we get some money. Cancel two, and I'm just gonna do that mission now. Got a one six two. All right, he's gonna lead us into the dark. Here's a good general. Might as well make into a general. Yeah, we have gained the anti-monstrous conquest. So these guys migrated adjacent to us. The Snot Finger Army, fourteen infantry. Uh, okay, they are. How do we see? They're part of the Goblin group. Old Ruined Rail. Hop. Oh, goblin Majority Coexisting. Assuming they just migrated as well. Air is good general. We actually can't make our air into a general. Stompfigure has announced this as the rival. Well, I, I agree. This is Fubard. We have a 1-6. We can field enough troops to, to beat this army, right? Dwarven Rail. Dice roll for attacker, minus one. Pop Dwarven Majority.
Okay. So... If we conquer their province, then we stop being an adventurer, because we'll have two provinces. And I kind of want to keep adventuring, so... Is that what this Purge Warband is for? Own less than three. One of the following must be true. Cultures Black Orc or Cave Goblin. Province can't be the capital province, and it needs to be Black Orc or Cave Goblin. So, yeah. So we conquer it, and then we can kill it. Is that basically how that's going to work? Kosu, thank you for your host, man. Okay. Um... We have show superiority, which does allow for conquest, so I don't need a claim. 10% ticking war score from battles. Gain prestige. Um, yeah, I think we try to kill him. We only have one diplomat. Uh, making a massive 0 0.01 ducats for collecting here. I guess we transfer just to increase our trade power in the capital node, which we can't even see. I can take out one... <laughs> Take out a five-year loan for one crown. We can take out up to 427 of these. How amazing. And we do development. We are allowed to develop. There's no reason to develop if you're migrating around. I mean, technically, if we did develop, we could take out two ducat loans. Wow. Um... I assume that the maintenance cost for a... Let's just check. I think that the maintenance cost for a colony is still going to be two ducats a month. Yeah, so there's obviously no way we can afford that. Um, He's on tech 2 versus our tech 9. Tech, sorry, tech 3. We could sortie our garrison if we wait a little bit. Try to save some money. I'd rather spend 10 military points than 10 ducats. Seems like money's really hard to come by. In fact, I don't know if I should have hired this advisor. I needed to keep on training troops. Adventure efficiency also gives yearly base tax. Okay, so what can I actually do to gain adventuring efficiency? Aside from just spending military points. I might have to spend military points. Yeah, because getting tech... Um, tech 4 is, is great, but like we're stuck right now. So why don't we just do this? Do it once. Number of provinces, adventuring efficiency, like... I just have to, to go to 100, it looks like. Nearly tax income, 8.1. More land maintenance. Do we hit... There, there's a cap on this, right? I think we're already at the cap, aren't we? I think we should focus mill, and we're going to just click that button every couple months. I think we're at the cap, but... Um, apparently, uh, we're at war. Snotfinger don't like us. They've used the Monstrous Conquest cast a spell, eh? Which lets them basically do the same thing that we can do. They're trying to enforce tributary, though, possibly. So... Okay. Well, I might be able to trick them into moving into our territory. I'm assuming that Scorched Earth still works like vanilla. You think one ducat a month right now is worth more than one mill point a month? True, but one mill point a month becomes adventuring efficiency, which becomes money. Right? We, we just did... We spent 200 military points, and now we get 10 yearly tax income. 10.77 divided by 12. It's like a ducat a month. So, as soon as I get to 100, presumably we're going to be at 2.5 times 10.77. We'll be able to get like 2 ducats a month, plus. Fearsome dwarves. Bum -ba -dum. Bum -bum -bum. Maybe after we get to 100? Or if the gen like if the advisor dies, I probably don't replace him. I agree that money feels pretty pretty important right now. The fact that this isn't really decaying at all. It's I thought I thought it was gonna decay like Prussian militarization. 
So we wouldn't want to, you know, militarize, but it's not working that way at all. So we're actually able to make some money. We have state maintenance. <laughs> we should run an edict. Dev cost edict, yes. Uh, institution edict. Defensiveness edict. I mean, it costs like no money, so why not, right? There's no reason to, to do this, but... Uh, I don't know. We have institutions. We actually do have feudalism, so sure. Institution spread edict. Let's get that feudalism. <laughs> Check out your unit pips. Shield wall. It's got two defensive morale. That's all we got. Pepperers, phalanx on tech five. There's no way for us to see their pips. Adventurers find treasure. Rejoice. A group of adventurers have returned from a hall with a hall of treasure and an excellent tale to boots. They have handed in their spoils as per company code. But what shall we do with the reward? Gain a lot of money. Gain some adventuring efficiency. Uh, basically 25 military points worth of adventuring efficiency. Or gain lose money to convert 28 crowns into effectively 50 military points. I think we just take the money. Because then we can train up all the dudes. And then go beat these stupid dummy heads. Yeah, two pips is pretty trash, for sure. What if we, like, what if, like, like I can imagine it being crazy. Like, the, the roving uh, armies could, like, migrate next to you and, like, pin you in. Ally each other and kill you. It's cool. It's like we're, it's like we're adventuring in Dwarf Fortress. And I, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's do some more clicks. Going all the way to 100. Adventuring efficiency. We're going to be so good at adventuring. All in favor of renaming goblins to stupid dummy heads. Take the mercs. Um, we recover manpower each month. Think about... Um, the thing about land maintenance modifier is that it doesn't affect merc maintenance, if I recall correctly. Things that reduce the higher price of infantry affect mercs, but land maintenance doesn't. So this shows, like, super low base maintenance. These mercs would cost 0.11 a month each. These guys, as regulars, cost 0.02. The mercs are, the mercs are bad. Merxes. Merxes. Okay. He's uh, continuing to train. We're already at war. Uh, can we switch to a different faction? We're already with marches, which I think is the best for this, right? Prestige from land battles we definitely want. We want the prestige. We need the force summit and morale of armies. Um, how many more do we have queued up? None. We still have room for more troops. Combat width is 20, so we'll just keep training until we hit 20. Or maybe to 19. And then once we're at 19 or 20, I think I'm going to move here so that he tries to move into my capital and then we'll reinforce. In fact, we'll probably scorch this province to guarantee we can take a defensive fight. Worst case scenario, we fight some goblins or whatever. Actually, would there even be a rebellion here? Because they're dwarf, dwarf pop. Would they rebel? Would they attack us? I guess probably. We have some attrition here because supply is only 15. I guess that'll do it. Let's move off. See if I can bait him into coming here. I'm leaving. Bye! Totally leaving. We're leaving. Bye! Come fight us. Stupid AI. Looking to be all stupid. Get him. Charge. Charge kill. Yeah, we got him. Easy. Stupid orcs. Bunch of idiots. Alright, might as well shift consolidate. Leave behind the damage stacks just to mitigate some of this stuff. Any siege pips? None.
Uh, did he get a recovery tick? He did. They will arrive in Dwarovad 2. On the 11th, we can be in Dwarovad 2 on the 17th, which means that he's actually beating me here, even though I scorched it. How does that even make sense? Even a little bit. He's going to engage my small stack. He's going to stack wipe it. It's cheating. He cheated. Somehow, I don't understand how he can move that fast. It's weird. We care actually about prestige a lot. Um, do we? I mean, we do. But probably not enough to justify... Ah, it's fine. 90%. I feel like the Scorched Earth should have done more there. It's, it's just kind of weird that it didn't. Okay, enemy still has 283 troops. There is another person that's migrated. We are making 1.88 ducats a month. Um, we're not going to get like any value out of these things. Learnings of an elder. It is very easy. It's very easy to forget that the younger races live life to a fuller and quicker pace than ours. Jarmon must keep up with new developments, just gain stats. I can gain admin, or I can gain dip, or I can gain 50 military power. Uh, permanent admin seems like the way to go. Sweet. Nice. No reason to have this many troops here. Um, let's go down to just a four stack. I could actually have, I mean, we kind of want Jarmon to die, right? Technically, he's worse. So, I th think... I think we have him go do this siege to try to cause him to die with a siege event. It would probably cost us one stab, but eh, whatever, right? Like, an extra one Monarch point a month pays for itself over the course of, like, the next 10 years versus having him for the next, like, 30 or 40. It's just better to kill this guy and get the 5-5-6. Five, five, Although, the longer he's in power, like, he will eventually get a real trait. be kind of nice. 